Hello and welcome to Infinity. I just want to show you a, an important thing about using blend modes, uh, which is a way to save on the size of the file that you can create and also make it kind of a little bit easier. And, and that is uh, like this. It's about using adjustments. If I take the layer here, hit Control J, and say I'm going to put some curves on it just for now. So I'm going to say curves, and I'm going to bring this up here, just say to brighten it. Um, but I want to blend it then back into the original. So I go down here to say, uh, what am I going to do? Let, let's just say I do a soft light change on it. So I've got this, is the original, and that's the next one blended in. What we've effectively done here is made a duplicate. We've applied a, an adjustment to it, and then we've blended that back into the original. Doing this, we've got an extra layer here, so we've duplicated this, which means we're going to double the size of our file and then a little bit more for the uh, adjustment. But the adjustments don't take up much room in terms of the file. Also, in terms of working with it, it kind of makes it a bit more complicated. And also, if you change this one, that means you've got to go and change the other one, which makes it a lot more tricky to use. So the alternative to doing this, if I delete that, is If I go to the assistant up here, I said adding the adjustment layer here, add adjustment as child layer, uh, masks and filters as child layers, which means they put in underneath them. So if I go here and put on curves here like this, now the curves are applied as a child, in other words, indented there, it's attached to this. Now if I do that brightening thing again, is I can use the blend mode here. So I go to this one here, and what did I use? I think it was overlay, wasn't it? And we get exactly the same effect. But what I've done here is I have done this just as a, a, in relation to this uh, as a child here. You can drag that above, and it's the, still the same effect, but it's affecting everything below. So if you've got multiple layers down here, then it affects everything. If you just want it to be this layer here, you drag it into here, so I've got a vertical blue bar there. Then it's you do it here, and then this has that similar effect. It means also that if you change this in some other way, then you don't have to go back and duplicate. Because when you've got duplicates of the same layer, if you want to change the original layer, you've got to reduplicate and redo all the work again. So anyway, that's it. It's a relatively simple one. But just explaining that when you're doing blend modes, it's often better to put them on the adjustment. The same thing applies here to the live filters here. This is always called the live filters. That this one here, it's not with the filters up here, um, but it is. You know, so if I do for a blur, and I go see blur here. Notice there's no blend mode on this. But if I went to this one here to the Gaussian blur. There is a blend mode here. So it's only for those. These, by the way, are exactly the same as going to layer, new adjustment layer, and new life filter layer. Exactly the same as the ones down here. But I use those because it's just a little bit easier. There we go. Hope that was helpful and thank you very much for watching.